Franken PHP in worker mode is going to be faster than traditional PHP FPM setup, but not all applications can just migrate to this approach. But is Franken PHP in classic mode also faster than PHP FPM? This is what my colleague Tim set out to benchmark, and in this video I am going to discuss his findings. Moin, I'm Benjamin and my work is focused on PHP performance related topics for the last 10 years helping thousands of developers along the way. Franken PHP is everywhere lately, starting with the PHP Foundation supporting the project, several Reddit posts, their gRPC support, PHP extensions in Go, and their scary, cute elephants arriving. But what is Franken PHP and what does classic and worker mode mean? The Franken PHP documentation has two handy pages to differentiate them, so let's go through classic mode. So without additional configuration, classic mode um, makes a seamless drop-in replacement for PHP, FPM or Apache with mod PHP. So what does that mean? Um, classic mode starts multiple threads that can handle PHP requests in parallel. But similar to um, Apache and PHP FPM, those requests have their own memory scope, so they have a shared nothing architecture um, principle in place. That means all that is calculated within a request gets uh, torn down at the end of the request, and then the next re uh, request that is handled by the same thread starts it over and over again. This is a very safe way of operating PHP because um, requests can't interact with each other. And uh, from a theoretical point of view, the performance between any kind of web server and PHP runtime should be the same when they operate in this mode. So um, not only should it be a drop-in replacement, but also should be similar in performance just from thinking about um, it, yeah, why, why should it be any different? What, what, what should be the magic that makes the one faster or, uh, than the other? It's uh, running PHP and there are shared nothing separated from each other and uh, we would expect that they are very similar. So um, how does it differentiate between uh, worker mode? So um, worker mode, as they specify, um, allows you to... Um, handle requests much faster. And the reason uh, for this is the following. So how does Franken PHP worker mode differentiate? Let's take a look at the configuration. So um, if you want to use the worker mode, you have to specify a, sp a specific environment variable and point it to a worker script. So what is a worker script? What the, uh, does it do? Let's uh, comb through the documentation a little. So for Symfony, there's a specific runtime. Um, uh, we want to skip that. Laravel has its own documentation how to use that. I think it's valuable to look at how you can implement Franken PHP worker mode for custom applications. So a worker script for a custom PHP application in Franken PHP looks like this. We have a handler and the handler is called when the request request is received and then super globals are available for this request. However, as you can see here, we have an infinite loop of requests that um, should handle more than one request in a loop until the number of maximum requests is reached. So this code here either runs indefinitely or up to a variable max requests. It, that means this script will handle multiple PHP requests um, one after the other and the web server for Franken PHP is calling the same PHP script over and over again. That also means that the memory is shared. Um, every request uh, uses the memory from uh, that was also available to the request before and the request can theoretically share the memory. So you can use it to save the whole bootstrapping step. With this in mind, 
uh, obviously worker mode would be faster because we can share the bootstrapping of an application between requests. But we are also getting an understanding that Frank and PHP in classic mode would be uh, similar in performance than PHP FPM and should not be like significantly faster. Um, so the question would be, is it generally a good idea to consider a migration from PHP FPM towards Frank and PHP from a performance perspective? Or um, is there a more uh, differentiated um, approach necessary? This blog post from Ivan from a few months ago is called FrankenPHP vs. PHP FPM Benchmarks, Surprises and One Clear Winner. And what he finds is that the performance of PHP FPM is much worse than that of FrankenPHP Classic Mode. So his numbers show that FrankenPHP uh, can handle five times the requests at only half of the latent, average latency. And with a different tool um, found that the requests um, per second were much higher and the latency was much, much better than that of PHP FPM. So that is not only a surprise, but from what we know about the differences between PHP and FPM and Frank and PHP Classic mode, it's also too good to be true. That is why my colleague Tim set out to benchmark uh, Frank and PHP Classic mode and PHP FPM. And the explicit goal was to make sure that we are not testing any other part of the stack that is that uh, the test is running through. So we want to make sure we are measuring PHP runtime performance. That means Frank and PHP versus PHP FPM runtimes. And we don't want to see effects of the web server, of the Linux scheduler, and uh, of other parts of the system to affect this performance. Tim summarized this in testing if Frank and PHP classic mode is faster and more scalable than PHP FPM, and you find the link to the post in the description. So what uh, did he use for a benchmark setup? So uh, we used a Hetzner server, it has eight CPU cores and um, the setup of Franken PHP and of PHP FPM is based on the default installation instructions of both packages. So Franken PHP is installed using the recommended curl sh command and nginx and PHP FPM are installed using the regular Debian packages. So after the installation, only a few changes to Nginx configuration were made um, to avoid port conflicts, but otherwise the setup was the same and not much was uh, configured. So specifically the benchmark, uh, we ran that, uh, or Tim ran that using the Vegeta command, um, is not using a lot of concurrency. So in Ivan's blog post, he was using a lot of concurrency, 100 um, uh, virtual CPUs, how it's called, um, in parallel. However, that puts the test at risk of uh, the Linux scheduler being the actual driver of performance differences and also the way maybe how Go threading works versus PHP FPM. And the reason for this is that if you have a um, benchmarking machine that has less than the number of um, uh, benchmarking worker processes, then that means uh, because the script is not doing any I.O. operations, um, you cannot really run them 100 scripts in complete parallel if you only have, say, 8 or 16 CPUs. And that requires scheduling in Linux to take place. And this means that we are not actually t uh, testing the PHP runtime anymore. So in Tim's test, um, he is running only eight or 16 uh, processes in par parallel um, for the eight CPUs um, to be utilized. Let's see what the results show. In his first case, um, he has a case where he renders 50 kilobytes of string data. And as we would expect, um, we see that the requests per second between PHP FPM and Franken PHP are not so different. Um, FPM has around 7,000 
and Franken PHP around 6930. So it's not a very significant differences, uh, difference between them. And then if we look at the latency at the 99 percentile, uh, we can see that both of them are around two milliseconds and the difference really is neglectable between uh, both of them. So just for HTML response rendering, if we rely on the runtime, their performance isn't really that different. So case closed, can we do use any of the two? Um, not really, let's have some fun. Um, one thing that Tim changed for the second test is he only added a header for application PDF response. And what you can see now is that the performance of FrankenPHP dropped significantly. So FPM got faster, it was able to respond with more requests and uh, FrankenPHP with less requests at a higher average response time. So that's quite confusing because the output is exactly the same. So Tim set out with a third example, now not rendering 50x characters, but instead um, he rendered random data to the output um, using uh, the text HTML content type. So now everything flips and it's not PHP FPM that is much faster, but the performance of PHP FPM actually drops quite a lot. Uh, only 1,940 requests, which is almost four times less than the 5,600 that FrankenPHP was able to handle. And also FrankenPHP um, responded at half the time. So that's a quite different flip for just like returning random data instead of always the same character. Um, obviously, uh, using the random extension puts a lot more work on the process. So it is expected that both PHP FPM and FrankenPHP uh, would be slower, um, but uh, the difference is not really explainable by um, PHP runtime differences. So he tested another example with just like a very, very simple hello world. And if he um, doing that, the um, request per second increased significantly. And you can see that both FPM and FrankenPHP in classic mode respond at nearly the same rate of 18,000 requests uh, per second. And the response time of both of them is also quite um, close to each other, around uh, 0 0.9 milliseconds or 0 0.87 milliseconds. It's not really a difference where you would consider choosing one over the other. So maybe the differences that Ivan uh, saw in his post where because he used a lot of concurrency and FrankenPHP for some unknown reason is able to handle this way better than PHP FPM is. So the uh, next case that um, Tim tested was the Hello World example again, but not using eight um, parallel requests in the benchmark. Instead, he increased the number to 100, which is much higher than the eight available um, CPUs on the testing machine. So what we can see here is that through concurrency, and um, this makes a lot of sense, the number of requests per second doesn't actually increase that lot um, by 100 times, for example. The reason for this is that uh, at eight parallel uh, requests per second, it was um, the, the server was already under complete load almost and um, increasing concurrency will not make the server response faster with eight CPUs because it's already at the edge of what is available to uh, deliver. Um, so the request per second increased roughly by 3000 or 4000. So FrankenPHP is able to do a little bit more. However, the latency, the average latency of FrankenPHP is actually much worth at the 99 percentile. It's uh, 23 milliseconds, 
versus 9 milliseconds for PHP FBM. Still, those two numbers are not like magnitudes apart from each other. So the difference is still just very small. And uh, given this very simple Hello World example, it doesn't really explain or it shows that both of them are very similar in performance. So since Tim uh, started using uh, default configuration uh, at the beginning, he now looked at to maybe optimizing the configuration for both FrankenPHP and PHP FBM, um, increased some values, changed some stuff, but found no changes worth mentioning uh, compared to the results before. So this leaves us with the differences that we saw before. How can we um, explain that the performance is so different because uh, based on the content types? And the reason for this is that um, the benchmarking tool Vegeta is using um, gzip as an accepted encoding. However, depending on what content type you respond from PHP, the web server actually handles this differently, either gzipping it itself or not doing that. And uh, Tim listed the different um, approaches from FrankenPHP, uh, Caddy, and PHP, uh, FBM, and Nginx. And you can see that uh, in the different scenarios, sometimes both of them are compressing the data. However, in the PDF case, for uh, or not. Um, however, there are cases where they work uh, in different ways. So sometimes both of them are um, gzipping and sometimes just one of them. And it seems that um, FrankenPHP um, web server compression is just much better than that of Nginx because um, in the case of random data, we saw that PHP FBM was much, much slower. So random data, we saw uh, the request per second in PHP FBM dropping significantly and um, FrankenPHP classic mode was three times higher throughput and also half the performance. And the reason for this is that uh, P uh, Nginx is just very, very bad at compressing random data. Um, Caddy sees that the data is random and stops compressing. And Nginx just compresses this, wasting a lot of time because you don't uh, get any benefit from compressing random data. So Tim tested um, the performance without web server compression taking place. For the HTML case, um, he said accept encoding to identity and reran the original HTML uh, benchmark. And then the numbers suddenly are very comparable to the ones for the um, PDF uh, binary content um, response. Uh, FPM has a slightly higher request per second and also a slightly better response average latency than FrankenPHP. So FrankenPHP Classic Mode is not significantly faster than PHP FPM. And depending on the test scenarios and application, one or the other is slightly faster. And there are artificial ways to use both of them incorrectly that will actually hurt performance. So benchmarking those two against each other um, requires you to carefully set up the benchmarks in a way that the, you are actually testing uh, apples to apples. And um, that is a difficult thing to, to look at. The biggest benefit in FrankenPHP Classic uh, mode I see is using its unique features like one HTTP 103 early hints, um, writing Go extensions, uh, using the Mercure real-time support, or the um, gRPC server support that was just released last week. Migrating from PHP FPM to FrankenPHP Classic mode without utilizing any of those features might not be worth the uh, effort for now. If you'd like to stay informed about PHP performance topics such as this, please subscribe to this channel on YouTube or our newsletter. The link is in the description. Bye.